What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are talking the 1.19 update again and we're going to be going over a few ideas of what it could be. We really don't know yet but Minecraft Live is just around the corner only a couple weeks away so we figured why not talk about some more ideas for what this update could be. If you enjoy this video be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel stick around and hit that subscribe button so you can check out the rest of our Minecraft content. Alright let's jump right into today's video. So the first theory we're going to be talking about is the warm biomes update theory and this was actually brought to my attention by Waddles on Twitter the other day and I thought it was actually a crazy cool idea. These are all biomes that are pretty boring and are very due for an update in Minecraft. We are talking the savanna, desert, biomes, and swamp and all these would be a very great combination of the next update. We could also see a warm biome update and then a cold biome update and kind of a part one, part two, like we did with the caves and cliffs. And that would be very interesting to see. And as you can see, I'm touring around the desert and the savanna here, and there's really not a lot going on. There's not any exclusive mobs to these biomes, really. I mean, with the desert, at least we have the husk. But other than that, there's not really a lot going on. These biomes are crazy deserving of an update, it would be so much fun to have a lot of new content in these biomes, especially the Badlands biome with some new content as well would definitely be amazing. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of these biomes myself and I would love an update in all of them. They do of course give great blocks, especially the Badlands biome with all the terracotta, but not a lot of people end up actually building in these biomes unless you're talking about Hermitcraft Season 4, which was completely in the Badlands biomes for the most part or uh, iJevin building in a swamp this Hermitcraft season. Other than that, we're not really seeing a lot of builds in these areas. There are a ton of different ways that they could go about updating these biomes. As I've said before, archaeology would be a great way to update every biome by adding different and unique archaeological sites to each biome. But if they aren't going to go the archaeology route for the biome update, then it would be great to see some unique mobs for these biomes, or even some new or interesting blocks that would fit in with all these. The next theory I want to talk about is actually a theory brought up a lot in the comment sections of these 1.19 videos, and that is weather or seasons. And I think this would actually be a crazy cool update to the game, having different seasons in the game. Weather, on the other hand, I'm not really too sure about how they could add things. Of course, you guys have talked about tornadoes or other kinds of natural disasters. And while that is cool, I don't see that ever becoming a real Minecraft feature. Seasons, on the other hand, would be very interesting in uh, the kind of normal biomes, like the plains biome. It would be very easy to add different seasons to that and make it a little less boring to be in a plains biome, although I do get the point of having the plains biome just already standing as it is. One thing I also want to point out that would lead towards the seasons idea is that the addition of copper and the oxidized copper specifically, Mojang talked a lot about how this would show the passage of time in a world. And going along with the passage of time, how great would it be if we saw different seasons of Minecraft passing through our world and we see all the builds that we put up going through the changes as well, especially the trees in the area going through the fall or autumn colors and then going into winter with dropping all the leaves. I think that could all be very interesting, but it would also be very interesting how they could implement that with all the different biomes that they currently have. The next update that I want to talk about is the Stronghold and Dungeon update. So this would actually be insanely cool and it's something I started thinking a lot about after playing with the End Remastered mod. This mod doesn't actually change much in the actual end dimension, but it changes how you find the end portal and the actual stronghold that it's in. I think this would be absolutely great, and it would definitely be interesting to see all the mineshaft and dungeon mechanics change, especially after the new caves are released in the 1.18 update. Now if you haven't seen the end remastered mod, this is the actual stronghold that the ender portal is in. While I don't expect something like this to come to Minecraft, I would love to see some new rooms and things like that actually come to the strongholds that we currently have in the game. And while this mod in particular adds a ton of content including even bringing the stronghold above ground, I don't really think that needs to be in the vanilla game, but adding a bunch of different rooms and other things to the stronghold to make it maybe a bit tougher and a lot more interesting would be very cool. Currently in the vanilla strongholds, the only rooms we really have are the library rooms, and other than that it's kind of 
just weird, kind of odd, very hallways and things like that with not a lot going on. Of course, there is this room right here that does contain a chest as well, and then the portal room. But other than that, there's no really unique rooms that would be very interesting to find in a stronghold. I think if Mo Yang was actually planning on doing an end update, one of the first things they would do would be to change up the strongholds, especially to fit in with the new 1.18 caves. No matter what the 1.19 update really is, we will find out in two weeks time at the Minecraft Live event on October 16th, so definitely be sure to check out our channel for when that releases because we will be talking a lot about the new update and all its possibilities. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can stick around and check out the rest of our Minecraft content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.